This is how I live, I live. This is what I love of. This is all the things that my dreams have been made of Welcome to my life This is what I love This is what the soundtrack to my life is made of Music love life Crystal Jordan, be honest in myself, Mr. Kevin. We are Music Love Life. Welcome to another I'm episode. I'm going to laugh every time you say Mr. Kevin. Have it's you been fun. using that at the grocery store? Well, like, where do you use that? Everywhere? Yes. Everywhere. I don't Everywhere. believe him. When you go to your kid's school, you say, Mr. Hey, I'm Mr. Kevin. Well, they call me Mr. Kevin. Because they're, they're little kids. I'm talking about the teachers. I just don't Hi, I'm Mr. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> you know, adults have to call each other Mr. and Mrs. No, they don't. Oh, yes, they do have, they have to do it all not, the time. No, mm-hmm. when? It's just you have this, uh, you're working in entertainment, it's a different environment. You call everybody by their name. Big this and little that. I do not. I <laughs> yes, don't. You do. Big you just this. Tried to, you just tried it. Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. says Mr. in a person's first name anywhere. People do it all the time. At your, okay, at your workplace. For an old, old person. Right. Miss Sarah, Miss Sarah. You can't even say Sarah. <laughs> Miss Sarah. <laughs> Do you call anybody? No Mr. one. Nobody even. I don't does say that. the word Mister or Miss anytime. Not ever. as a grown person. I, are, are you not around people whom you respect? That, 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 do you do, you, do not, you speak to no? You speak to everyone casually, first name basis. Yes. Hey Tom. Yes. Hey Joe. Of you course. don't never say Mister Joe, Mister Tom. No, no, Mister Joe. That sounds like <laughs> slavery. That sounds like no slave one does that. No one does that. That sounds Mr. like a Joe. like a comedy a Comedy Central spoof. Like yeah. Mister Joe. Never is I be I be good today. Is that, that your slave voice? It is. But you're saying that you, you couldn't even slave right. What are you doing? With him? I don't. Call. I be good today. I'm just saying. I mean. Is that a black thing? I, I don't know. I think that was Christmas. You know what? My to... mom did tell me that when I was uh, younger. She said that people in the South, when we first moved, they seemed very, very different. And they had a lot more, um, <laughs> they spoke to white people a lot differently. They would call them Mr. and Mrs. Like, and people up North don't do that. Never. Now it's just you. I don't even say people's last names though. You said Mr. Joe. I thought you were gonna say Mr. Jones. Right now, that would make sense if it was a, okay. like when I first graduated from college and I went to work, and someone would be like 20, 30 years older than me. I would start, but usually when you're in the workplace, there's a sense of like everyone right. is the same, and right. Miss Such and Such wants you to just call her Donna because she doesn't want to feel like she's old as shit. But hey, man. Well, actually, I should be calling uh, Mr. Mr. B and Miss Crystal. No, no. Why? Because we're three years older than you. Yeah. No, no. please. When I taught I, I school for give you one respect. year. My okay, fine. I you know, you, Mr. Be Honest. All right, Mr. B. <laughs> no, Mr. Be Honest. Mr. Be Honest. <laughs> he Mr. Tried to make honest. You sound like you. Should, uh-huh. You were. You sound like you're on Little House on the Prairie. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, the little black when Todd Bridges went on Little House on the Prairie and was like, you know, just call me Dad. <laughs> You sound more like Grandmaster B. You remember that? Grandmaster oh, B. Wow. Hip hop credibility there. Hotep. <laughs> no, the He's hoteps. Talking. Hoteps are not calling other pe- are not calling people Mister and Mrs. Well, he was saying Grandmaster. Hoteps aren't even calling Kuklux. each other Hotep. What Excuse you, me, Hotep. You <laughs> Y'all don't, don't Mr. Every, Hotep. You don't end every sentence with Hotep. <laughs> I'm afraid not. It doesn't. It doesn't have that ring. Not anymore. anymore. Like mm-hmm. There was a time when every tweet ended with Hotep. <laughs> they did. They did. They oh did. my God. <laughs> yes, that's how you all recognize. I don't know that Hotels were doing that. I think that was that the was joke. No, I think the Hotel in Pro. No, no. <laughs> mm-hmm. Co- this was early, with, early on, and everyone was trying to. I, said, I did say Hotel. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> people were trying to trying to Google that. Like, right. What, <laughs> like, what the hell was he talking about? Oh, wow. Mr. Kevin. Now, See, I cool. always mess with me about little stuff. That's how I know you love me. You can't course, get enough right. of it. Of right. course, of course. I mean, I, Big Kev made sense because you're like Six, way taller than whatever, most people. Yeah. Most humans. Yeah. Mr. Kevin just kind of takes away that. Yeah, it's mm. like that's a, little, that's a little guy with a cane. <laughs> it brought you back down. Now you're down. Down here with us. It was Big Kev from the spoke. Yeah. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed that you remember that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, sometimes we have to go back to where we started. Yeah. Rebuild. Well, you know, or we ch- got, or we 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 transition on. So now maybe I will do keep. I'll keep Big Kevin. You know, bring I think it all that together. makes sense. I mean, you're you're big. I don't know. Yeah, you're big, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kevin. <laughs> I still don't like. That's it. what she said. The fact that you made your own drugs. Why do you look at me when he said that though? Remember last week? <laughs> remember last week? He was so offended because I said he's grown. He, he got growth. This thing he just looked at me and said, "That's what she said." But a boom, keep that to yourself, <laughs> that sir. That was funny. Keep your yeah. hom- homoerotic statements to yourself, sir. <laughs> homoerotic. Yeah. So, guys, so you guys missed my big relationship 
event on Friday. I wasn't told about right. it. I did tell you about it. I I'm told you about it last I'm sorry. Week. I, I didn't want to come. I did. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I, I understand. I understand. I didn't think that any men wanted to come, actually. But there were men there. There were men there. So, so I had good an job, event. Good job, men. Good job. Mr. Fella. Good. Hey, there were black men. And, it, and not only were they there, but they were sitting down, not just standing around at the bar. They were seated and they were quiet and they were their eyes Attentive. were looking forward. Wow. So I was just blown were, away. Were those good men? I, I Is don't that what know. you're saying? I'm just saying I was never just surprised. never seen that before? I didn't think that men wanted to hear women talk. You all have... Beat it in my head. No, no, no. We don't hear. Don't we don't hear, hear our woman talk. Oh, okay. Well, these were single women, so these women right. didn't necessarily belong. Yeah, we listen to, to y'all until we until we fuck. Oh, okay. Did anybody so, did anybody connect? Well, they were definitely the women were definitely aggressive. I think that the roles have changed because all the women were hitting on men, and the men were just receiving the adulation. Is that Atlanta? I don't know. I don't. You know, really, Atlanta's the like lopsided though, from what they say. It, it looked lopsided. It's that still night. at least ten to one. It looked very lopsided. <laughs> that's and they not were, lopsided. They that's were, a, they were going for that's what orgy. they knew. It's a landslide. Yeah. That's an orgy. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a shit show. They were going for what they knew. A one uh, a titty actually came out at one point. Like on purpose? Yeah. And I missed it. You missed. Was it, it a titty. nice titty? How much, I, how much did it weigh? I don't know. I don't know. How much did it look like it? Weigh? I'm sure you didn't grab it. I don't know. C cup, D I don't, cup. I it. I think it fully? was a. I think it was a restructured boob. Oh, so it wasn't like it was natural sag. No, I. I mean, I, I didn't see all of it, but I. I saw it be exposed, and then and then. Can you give us the context? Well, uh, w- one of the guys said to uh, one of the ladies that she had, I guess, necklaces and looked like she had been to Mardi Gras. And so she said, Mardi Gras, that's where you have to show your tits to get to get a necklace. And she just popped the boob out. So she didn't learn. There was nobody, she, nobody, nobody really asked prompted her. her to do that. <laughs> Did anybody I want think her she to? was trying to get the edge <laughs> up on the other because everybody was beautiful. And I think, you know, it's, 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 it's competition is it's fierce. You got to jump in there and, and do something. What and was that the reaction? Definitely, uh, immediate. That's, it's immediate. So, okay, so that's that's a girl competition. She said it all. It worked. Yeah. So it worked though. She, right? All, so all worked. eyes are on her now. All eyes are on her. She I mean she's she was a little older. She's like one of the older women. Oh there, hell so yeah. She, she really had to sell had it. To get in <laughs> she there. She had to sell it. And, Sex sales. Yeah. And gotta just, move this thing. And just really kind of shift shift the energy. And so she did. She so did. what was the purpose though of the, the panel? And this the was panel a, okay, a, so the panel dating? was to talk about dating in Atlanta and we had all of the girls from Owns a hit reality series, the one that she did with Will Packer, Ready to Love. They were all of them except one. So there were 11 women. Um, and I, I asked one of my friends to come in and co host this, a guy, Todd One from Yo MTV Raps. Mm-hmm. He got, he wasn't able to talk. They shut him down. I thought if I get this big personality, this big right. guy with this big New York personality, because we can't ever shut him up, but they shut him down. <laughs> they shut him down. What do you mean by shut down? Like, he, no, we don't want to care what you have to say. Oh no, they are they're busy taking. The they floor. would not allow him to speak. Like they just went, they attacked him verbally. It was it was brutal. Women don't do that. <laughs> what verbal attacks? Did he walk out or did they he? They wouldn't let him talk. I've he never said. heard of such a thing. <laughs> There's they no would not, sarcasm they there. They would at all. not allow him to speak. They would not allow him to finish his points. Um, they they silenced him. He he went down. I just don't believe down. that women interrupt a man. No. <laughs> I, <hate you. laughs> I yeah, so um but but it was interesting because I heard a lot. So I so I, the guys came to listen. I'm hoping they came to really listen and enrich their their lives. I'm hoping they weren't just coming to possibly have sex. But um I'm not sure. Uh they they were excited. I mean, all of them were beautiful, so it's definitely a, a ripe environment for that. Ready to love is the name of the show? Ready to love. That sounds misleading, though. Why? Because I don't know if they're ready to love or ready to date. It sounded like there was more of a, like, pulling titties ready, out. No, ready were, to love is just a nice way of saying DTF. Smash time. No, it yeah. isn't. No, it, it is. isn't. No, they, they want to be in a relationship. One of the girls was saying she's 36 years old. She, her to, her clock is ticking, and she oh, wants yeah. a husband and a, and a baby, and... And then the other girl was like, well, I don't need that because I'm, you know, past the baby having age and I just want somebody that can travel and be a real man. And I mean, it was just somebody a lot Somebody that can of, travel. What does she do for a living? I don't know, but she has a lot of money. One woman said that she had money, that she had a lot of money. And she, you know, it was just a lot of I mean, of these women happening. are willing to take care of a man, though. Mm-hmm. I think they want another, a man that has a lot of money also. That's what it sounded like. How do they get their money? 
just different. I mean, different. This different jobs. I mean, co- a corporate medical sales. That's a how, okay. So, but they, they obviously still don't do Teacher. that. Teacher, no, they do it now. How do you travel and have a job? Well, she wants to vacation. Oh, she so has, it's, every it's, it may sound like she was just yeah, like no, no, idle she, rich. That, like, that's, that's, that's what she wants to do as a hobby. She doesn't want to have a baby. Hobby. She wants gotcha. to travel, right? Got okay, that makes a lot of travel. Beach lifestyle. That's 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 expected. I think that's normal. Well, she was saying that her 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 goals were not the same as the other woman. They were right. just a few years apart, but because she had a baby, you know, children already, everybody's just at different points in their life. But what I did see is that a lot of hurt causes people to be defensive, right? And sometimes defensiveness comes across as mean and difficult. And I think it all comes from a a core of hurt, you know, and on both sides. Because some guys, <laughs> it's funny because after the discussion was over, it went for 45 minutes and I just was like, okay, we, we've got to stop. <laughs> we've got to stop. So this guys pulled me to the side. It's like they were afraid to talk to the to the panel, but they pulled me to the side and wanted to talk to, like give me a whole rebuttal to the whole conversation, but they were afraid to do it to the, to, <laughs> to the women on the panel. But I just feel like men and women both um, don't interpret each other's goals, you know, the same. Like I could hear through all that, you know, independent black girl magic talk that there was a lot of hurt and disappointment and um, um, fear, you know, that maybe I may not find that person. And then right. on the other side, you know, men, there's very much disregard and and I'm sure that must come from some core. Well, that's, the, that's what I'm going to say. The men do that to protect themselves from being hurt Again, most right. times those guys have been hurt by, I mean, they've probably been handicapped like Ty One was by these. <laughs> no, I'm sitting, no, think about it for a second. They shut him all the way down. They shut him down. Imagine if that was how your, maybe one of your early, you know, relationship, intimate relationships was with a woman and you get shut down. But that, does that hurt your feelings if someone if doesn't let you talk? you're in love with the person, they not don't necessarily let you talk. talk. But I'm okay. about, no one wants their words to fall on deaf ears. But I'm saying I'm not, I mean more, of a, more from a symbolic place, not necessarily about the talking, but just right. you know, some a, a woman may have hurt somebody back way back in the day, and now every single time they cheat or every single time they dog a girl out, it's because they're just kind of protecting themselves from that. Yeah, I've heard that. That's that's been a consistent thing. The guys get hurt one time, and then it just and the, everybody else is just a casualty of that war. Mm. But, well, until that wound is healed. Yeah, but women. I mean, women. All that was just hurt. You know, and what I mean, women have become the same. Women have well, I think women get hurt more because I think women women have there's more hope in within us, and so we we get hurt two or three good times, and then I mean I don't know some for I'm pretty easy though I'm I was that kid that you even tell me you're gonna give me a whipping and look like you're gonna come at me I get out of the way so I got hurt one good time I'm like I'm out <laughs> I get it yeah. I'm out but some people just you know my brother used to get whippings over and over again he would still keep doing the same bad things so yeah. you know some what people can the, go longer I think the unfortunate reality is that. Dating, whether it's in Atlanta or anywhere, one, it takes a lot of work to sort through hundreds and hundreds of people to find someone that you like. Like Ross or TJ Maxx. I mean, every person that you, (laughs) seriously, every person that you talk to and consider or has asked you out or a coworker or a church member or wherever you're, Bumble, Tinder, whatever app you're finding people, you're sorting through a lot of people to find someone. And that takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work. Energy. And then number two, once you actually find someone and you say, hmm, I want to give this person a shot, to make it work with that person Mm -hmm. is even more work. It it is. It's it's just all work. It's all work, no play. So, I mean, you know, you can't... I said that to say you can't give up easy. To be fair, though, even once you're married, it still works. Yeah, no, no. But I think, you know what? I think in in that, and and at least there, there's two people working. Right. If you're mm. well, there should be. Should be. There hopefully is, right. and not maybe not at the same time because I know there's right. there's there's uh, hills and valleys. But when you're dating, you're working alone. <laughs> it's just you working on what you you know want for for your life, and so there's no you're, the, you're getting constant opposition or things different. But when you're in a relationship, at least there's there's another person, and you guys are working together. So I think that for me, that that is easier work. Than just, I mean, you're just going through racks and racks of clothes, and and it's just not right, or it's just, or or things are being thrown at you. This is what I don't understand with with men, and and we'll have we're having another conversation, so you know maybe you guys can come out and help with that one. But every <laughs> help, I mean, I want to see the shit show. I don't want to help. 
<laughs> They're not going to shut me down. I'll get well, really upset. Well, this is why we want to let the men talk. But I have, a, I have an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say the men are talking and I'm going to take away any microphone from a woman and say you cannot talk until they are completely finished. And I'm just going to not give them a microphone. <laughs> I, I don't you know how else to work? do it. You think black women need a <laughs> Black women don't need a microphone. What? They didn't need one on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need a damn microphone. <laughs> they didn't She'll need take one their on microphones. <laughs> <laughs> Come to think yeah. of it, they did not care about me taking their mics on Friday. Right. But uh, my, my question is, I think that a lot of times women are sorting through, everyone's going through the dating process. Men will start, it seems like men are not really sure of what they want, so... One of the points that Todd tried to make. No, like, hold on, let me around. finish. Okay, Todd. Todd tried to make this point. He said that when you go, you, when you go out with a woman, because he he's in a relationship, so he doesn't count. But he said when you go out with a woman, they are immediately talking about marriage, kids, and family. Like they they have already worked you into this. And he's like, men don't always know if that's what they want from you, or you know, I don't. I'm just here to have a date and have some dinner. I don't. I don't won't know about marrying you. You know, everybody that you date, you're not supposed to marry. So he was saying that that kind of throws men off initially because it seems like women are so ready to to lock in. And the women were saying, well, they want to be intentional and they don't like the fact that guys play games. But my question to you guys is why do guys go after women so hard if they don't know? Because if you pursue a woman for like three or four months and then all you want to do is have sex, that seems like a lot of wasted energy. Yes, no. I don't think I don't think that we just want to have sex as much as women think we just want sex. Well, you all say it. Of course we want sex, but that doesn't mean that we're fulfilled by that. Oh, right? that was deep. Okay. We still want to engage with you. We still want to get to know you, mm-hmm. and I think that some people have found sex as a way, as, as another way to get to know some or part of that process. Mm. And maybe that's that's part of their process, but not part of yours. Right. That's part of what you figure out when you're dating. If you're ready to do the same thing when they're ready to do it. Right. Right? Right. Yeah, and I can understand women saying, oh, you just want sex. Well, I just want to get married. Well, and y'all kind of throwing that's it. That's not the same. Back and forth. By the way. Uh, it's like I give you something, but, but you gotta lock in. But, yeah, that's what I this I remember I went one of my friends, I won't put his name out there because he's been on the show. He said that he he was trying to have some sex with this sex with this girl. Yeah, right down now. Yeah. Right. He was trying to have sex with this girl, and she said, if we have sex, then you're my boyfriend. And he was like, What? <laughs> right. <laughs> what kind of bullshit is that? That's and he was equal. like, I'm not doing that. Like he was just totally disgusted. That she would say, if you do this, I mean, that's the only thing that got him to snap out of it and and go home. I think that guys feel like sex is... Recreational? No, yes, but it's part of the process. Mm-hmm. So you're saying, are you? How are you about with kids? And we're like, I don't. If I, if I, if I don't we, even know if I like you. If we can't fuck right, I don't. The, the rest of that shit doesn't even matter. Like dudes don't care. I don't know if all guys like this, but right. we don't really care about the rest of it. If I can't <laughs> enjoy having sex, right? So let's mm-hmm. get that out the way. Let's get just get that out the way. Mm-hmm. Once we know that, now let's start talking about some other stuff. Like you think you're going to keep my attention if you can't even suck dick right? Oh. Matter of fact, matter of fact, let's let's I, 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 I reel it, I reel it back a little bit. Oh my! What about if the first kiss doesn't? Mm. That I'm I'm okay with that. Same thing. But Sex that, is the same way. I, well, the first time you feel and it's how not about right. We you just assume. Like, oh, I fuck. feel like if the kiss, if we have a good kiss, possibly that sex is probably going to be good because if you have the same kind of passion, that that could that could possibly lead to also the bedroom, right? But it's not, what you said was very different than kissing. Well, okay, here's my thing, right? I don't think it's wrong for a woman to bring up kids and marriage on a first date. Okay. Bring it up. Okay. But if you're saying... To lock it in as a gender. Yeah, like I think there's a difference between stating these are my goals right. and I'm just, skipping the process. I'm just right. dating. Or I'm, not mad at that. I'm actually looking for someone, you know. Just like when you go for a job, there are certain requirements, you know, bachelor's right. degree. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want to be the CEO. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, that doesn't work that way. Yo, there are certain you're requirements. You're here for customer service one, <laughs> sir. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. The first date is let let we can talk about marriage and kids, mm-hmm. but let's talk about it from an, an 
outside of our body experience. Let's not talk about me and you being married. That's right. That's way too direct. Right. But I agree. if you're the kind of person, oh, I'm looking to get married. Not you know, not right now. Right. But I'm looking to meet people who could potentially be that's a okay. husband. Yeah. That's right. a that's a completely that's a completely honest opinion. I mean, mm-hmm. thought. And I think that a guy should be able to a mature man should be able to have a conversation like that as well. I am also. I'm well. I'm not. I'm not really looking for anybody to marry. If somebody came along, right. That's that, what usually what guys say. You know, I'm and, not and, looking for it, but if but it you're offended by that, honestly. I, no, I'm you? not. But see, I've been married, so I think these these women were women that had not been married, and women women do a lot of times put marriage as the goal. Women that have not been married kind of see marriage as the goal. Thirty five. You haven't been married too late. It's not too late. I have a girlfriend that got married at 42 and had a baby and and, and this has a whole beautiful the American dream. Like I don't think it's too late. Is she 43 late. now? Yeah. She's only 43? Yeah, she just So got, she was 42 and got married. She's 43. It's well, not she over. She was 41. It's just 43 yeah, now. When 2 she years. 43. Mm, come on. The American dream. Like we're talking about 2 years. She had a baby. But I'm saying she had a baby and got married. That's what everybody wants to do. I, I, if I she's happy, if she, yeah. if for she's now. happy, I'm that's what it's for about. now. It's only been a year But I'm just saying, but months. she got there. Those people that got married in their 30s and got divorced. My next point year. is True. is that my point is that at 35 is it not too late? No. If you've never been married, if you've never experienced no. married life, I don't think so. Like you've been a wife before. Yeah. I don't know if a woman after 35 can can revert. I think she can. Well, that's a tough one, man. Being uh, a wife is very different than being a single woman. I th- I think it's maybe unlikely but not impossible. I don't think that's true. There guys. wasn't a woman that lived in a shoe. Because one <laughs> well, Shut you up. When I'm you just saying, man. When you become an older person, you some people well, get the same set thing in their with, ways. With guys, though, because I'm I was afraid. I'm afraid of men that are are forty and up no, that have never been married and never had a child. They you're are wrong. the most selfish bastards on the planet. Everybody's selfish. Everybody. What? This is America. Everybody's selfish. Well, I guess I never had that luxury because I had children and got married early, so right. I didn't have the luxury of being selfish. Like, no, you got some selfish. Well, no, you, you. But have. that's no, what. On. Not at all. Everybody is selfish. Nothing I think, at all. But that's <laughs> kind of the way that it should be. Other cultures get married younger. They mm-hmm. have children younger. Like they're not thirty-five and forty with a two-year-old. Well, we can't help it. I mean, our our culture, our 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 culture is different. But but I, I don't think that I think that the same. Thing that you guys are saying from a woman being a wife, a man being a husband is very different than being a bachelor. I think that most guys are trying to get all that raggedy shit out. At 45? No, no, listen. I think most guys are working their way through their 20s and 30s trying to get all that raggedy shit but out. But there is a lot mm-hmm. of that. The 45. idea in their mind is that when I get 35, 36, when my body starts slowing down and I don't <laughs> got it like I used to, I'm going to get married. A lot of guys say that. A lot of guys but feel I run that into way. But men that are, there's a longer shelf life on bachelorhood. In certain play, and now I mean, mm. you know, so you have guys that are in their forties, heading towards fifty, that are still working it out of their system. Yeah. And the problem is when they get it out, also their testosterone levels are gone as well. Well, you know what? Even that may be true, but I also think that there are some women who are poor negotiators. What do you mean? By and that? like they've they've had a quote unquote good man on the hook, mm-hmm. so to speak, mm-hmm. right? They've had one in front of them mm. and were unable to make that connection. Were unable to... Mm, but that's not... That because means, that they were they unwilling... Well, well, there were certain things that they wanted to... That, certain things that they wanted in a man, mm-hmm. right? Everybody has a checklist. Mm-hmm. I want this, I want that, I want this, mm-hmm. right? And if this person, this good person, let's say he smokes mm-hmm. or he drinks... Mm-hmm. Or he doesn't have it together here or, or doesn't meet that list in right. some way. Right. Uh, totally scratch him off the list. Mm-hmm. Next. Mm-hmm. Right? And so you treat when you treat people like they're disposable, you think that you're doing yourself a, a service by uh, keeping your standards high, mm-hmm. but you, you've actually ran through your pool and, and eliminated uh, your, your options. But doesn't that go both ways? Um, because I think that there are men that we're looking for. Not so much. It Not when it's ten to one. Not so much. I think it's. E- I think someone said this before. It's easier to find a, a good woman than it is to find a good man. But that. I mean that. That that may be true. But that doesn't mean that that. Um, we can penalize women for doing something and say, well, you you ought to jump to it because there's not much of a, like. I'm not, not saying, cool. no, I'm not saying penalize women, mm-hmm. but men, uh, I, I do think that men of a certain stature know 
that they're kind of coveted, especially a, a rich man. He know he got options. He know if if, a if you woman. just with him for the money, he can find somebody else that's with him for the money. And yeah. and a beautiful woman. You Same know, thing. you know if you just want some dick, if this dick ain't answering, another dick will. It's a dick everywhere. Hey. And so if that's what it's, what it's about for you, then you're only going to see this person for that. Oh, they're not bringing that to the table. Next, I got to find think, somebody I else. I think both people do, both genders do that. That's, that's my whole thing. I think that both genders do the same things to each other. But when we get into conversations like this, each comes passionately with their argument. You know what I mean? And it's like, well, you've passed over some great men and there's some oddly shaped, really good women that are cooking every night saying... I've been passed over a lot for those big booty hoes on Instagram. Like, it goes both ways. And I just think that the problem is we're not mature enough to see the other side. We only see our side because there's usually a lot of pain from what we're, you know, from the from the perspective in which we're speaking. So, God bless everybody. What, I think the biggest problem is self-awareness because some people don't know who they are. And so, they're shooting way too high for themselves. I agree. I agree. <laughs> They're shooting way too high. I, I don't agree. care how much money you got. I agree. If you look a certain way, I agree. you're shooting way too high for yeah, yourself. Yeah, I don't think that's fair because some, some some guys, there's actually a conversation online like, well, the whole conversation, like you've looked over a, a good guy. Well, I mean, come on, man. So today my trainer, I was in the gym before I came here and there was a guy that was hitting on me and my, my trainer was like, why well, would you give him a chance? And I was like, would you give the equivalent of him a chance? He was like, hell no. And I said, well, why would you right. ask me to do that? And right. he was like, you know what? You're right. You're well, right. My I, bad. I think that maybe, I don't, I'm not sure that got good guys are getting looked over or good women. Mm -hmm. I think that maybe sometimes we have to be more self-aware. Why did I not get selected <laughs> right. in that particular inter interaction? Be out of my what, lane. What was, there, what was there about that particular interaction that I could, maybe I could have done more, me, maybe I could have done something differently or I wasn't self-aware enough to know that that really wasn't the relationship for me or the situation for me. Because like a, lot of, a lot of times we're so quick to blame, oh, they, these women don't know a good man. Maybe you're not as good of a man as you think you are. <laughs> maybe, seriously though, maybe like there's that. something that's, that's not right on your That's side. Fair. That's because true. Because do you think a woman is going to be with you and you're this man you think you are and she's going to let you go? Right. Would you let that guy go? No. I don't care if he's nice but not big. If he's the, if he's if he's the, an amazing, amazing guy yeah, no. but just may not have the muscles you want, no. you're not letting that no. guy go. Uh, that's it's not, not that easy. That's not realistic. You no. want an NFL body, but if you found a guy that was the right height that was still was, yeah. was manageable absolutely. but didn't have all those muscles but was yeah. amazing everywhere else, yeah. you're not letting that guy no, go. No, that's true. That's absolutely true. So it's, it's immature of us to even pretend that you would. I agree. I agree. And it may just be that guy wasn't that great of a guy and you looked yeah. at him like, uh yeah, or he, or there was some other thing. I, I right. there's a, a guy like now that that he talks to me, and I've been just his attitude. He does not think that he's wrong about anything, and he and he just constantly puts out what is wrong with everyone else, and it oh. and it drives mm -hmm. me nuts. But he feels like he's this great catch is all the women's fault, and I'm like, there's. Me and a whole bunch of other women are like, nigga, you are crazy as hell. <laughs> but he doesn't he doesn't get it. And I've even said, like, do you think that maybe, like, why do you think you're single? Like, maybe, maybe you should get out of your own way, or maybe all of us should get out of our own way. And he's like, No, I just don't have patience for bullshit. And I'm like, oh. you are the bullshit. But I don't well, want to say it to and him. That, and see, that's just it. I, Cause I've I've heard men say that and I've heard women say that. I think if you don't have patience, mm -hmm. you don't need to be in a relationship. That's real. That's real. That's real. You, if you're you not ready. If you don't have patience, <laughs> you are not ready. You're to be not in a relationship. ready, yo. Because yeah. like I know we think that we're so good, yeah. And and whoever we choose should be so honored to mm -hmm. have to put up with our shit. Mm -hmm. They I, don't. I used yeah. to think that because they I don't. I didn't. I used to like, honestly. This is this is just you know reflection. I used to believe that because I didn't cheat, uh -huh. I could be mean. Right. Oh wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I thought that like I could that, like that made it Sorry. okay. I th I thought I could have less patience with somebody. Yeah, because, because you're like well, everybody else cheating. Right. right. I really believed that. Right. It was my own issue that I had to overcome. Right. Me and my wife broke up because of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though she's got a dude that wasn't cheating on her, mm -hmm. that from the outside looking but in like was the perfect you know, guy. Right. But, but there was if yeah. if you have if 
you're impatient because of it, mm-hmm. and you you allow yourself to be cruel mm-hmm. because of that, mm-hmm. it doesn't matter how 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 little you cheat or That's true. if you never cheat or how you look or what you how much money you none mm-hmm. of that shit matters. So nice guys finish last. That's bullshit. I agree. The nice That's... guy who finishes last probably has a lot of other issues. Yeah, going he's not. He, he's he insecure so busy about that something. He's nice, or, right? That he's really an asshole <laughs> or something else. Yeah, it could be anything. And same yeah. thing with the women because I mean most most that the conversation there was other women involved, but a lot of people are so busy proving. Trying to prove that they're so much better than other people, and it's like, first of all, I'm I'm very uh, there's a lot of beautiful women, right? So like, you can never assume that because I'm so attractive, even if eight million guys hit on you, they they hit on a lot of women. <laughs> so right. it's never about how beautiful you are. Or also, I know a lot of women feel like because they're successful, that makes them a good. But guys don't necessarily translate successful to being a good wife. So right. that's another thing that we have wrong as women. And I, I can say that I thought, I, I felt like I was a good woman because I am a good person, but I was, because of my past hurt, I wasn't really willing to let someone all the way in. And so right. that's also not an attractive thing. So I'm like, I'm realizing that that was one, some of the mistakes I made. I'm very pleasant and I'm very, you know, a te- team player on the outside. You're but when it comes to, I'm a publicist. So when it, <laughs> when it comes to actually getting to know me and me being 100% vulnerable, I was not willing to right. allow anybody in that space. And so that meant I wasn't really ready for a real relationship because you have to be willing to get hurt in order to really, you know, indulge. And that's, that's just, that was, and honestly, I didn't want to do that. Right. You know what I mean? That's something I was like, I don't, I don't, want to take that risk because I know how badly I was hurt before. So that meant I just wasn't, you know, ready for a real, wow, you know, yeah. relationship. Your, your turn, Kevin. We th- both, we both bared our souls. Yeah, we're waiting well, on well, you know what? I, th- I think what, I think what is right is when you're at a point where, I mean, everyone comes to the table with their, with a set of bags. What are your bags? We just said our bags. <laughs> Man, what do you mean? What are my bags? Come on with your bags, you gotta, Mr. Kevin. Your hiking pack. <laughs> yeah, he should have set this up like it will people all around. I don't know. We what all is, got issues, y'all. We all got issues. Well, so it's I odd, heard that chick. I, it's odd because I mean I'm I'm happy in a relationship right now. He is so too. I'm, right. Yeah, I mean I mean I'm not I'm not so faced with my baggage. Well, here I, I will I will say this. We I I think as a culture we don't <laughs> allow each other. Hold on, let me say it. Damn no, it. go ahead, man. Go ahead. I, we don't allow <laughs> each other space to heal from the last bullshit. We expect people to come in and be perfect and be on point and you know, I'm watching you, don't cheat on me, that type of shit, right? But we don't allow people to sometimes they're still developing. Sometimes they still got to heal. You got to give people room to grow. You That's know what true. I'm saying? I think that's true. I, I, I so think, that's what you're saying. You're not willing to bear what, your soul much, to bear my right. share with us. That's okay, man. I don't know what I'm supposed to share. You're like perfect. One Q. What the you're fuck perfect. is that? These girls have been passing you over all these years, and, and it's it, them. you've never done anything. You just <laughs> all you can talk about is the culture. I have. <laughs> these black women don't know. They're not intelligent enough. That's what it is. I didn't say that. Just, don't put. No, I'm just oh, kidding, see, man. that's so dirty. I'm just kidding. That's man. so dirty. I'm just kidding. Is that? Is that? By definition, it's is, stuff. is that, that my no, flaw? No, no, yes. is that my flaw? Because I'm not willing to share. Well, maybe you don't know huh? what it is, and if you don't know, trust me, maybe you will find digging. out. Because if you if you think that that there's nothing that you've done before this relationship that has resulted in you having the having the the journey that you had, then you're still you still don't know it yet. It's okay, man. I don't. Yeah. I, it's not that yeah. serious. I, I mean, everybody gets to that crossroads. Yeah, at a different when they time. get to it. Maybe you yeah. haven't gotten to your crossroad yet. Yeah, it's I possible. just. I mean, I, I. You did say you're so much younger than us, <laughs> and that does play a part in it. Maybe in your adolescence, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You're gonna get some some chin hair, and then you're gonna start. You know what I'm saying? Your your voice is gonna get deeper. Take on some ownership, Balls will like get some hair on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Drop hey. a little bit. <laughs> Drop up just a bit. Right, right, and then you'll have your epiphany. You know what I'm one, your, one day Your paradigm shift oh. <laughs> It is it's Exactly Everybody has that Everybody has to realize What they What what they do And it's Much like my friend he, he He's the same way as you He's like <laughs> I'm just Great bachelor Women are passing up Maybe when it comes though Because you've heard our story You'll be more receptive to The, the change that's gonna be necessary To get to the next chapter Or the next section Who knows and that's not for Maybe you. Maybe not. That's not for you. That's for somebody listening as well or viewing this as yeah. well. Mm. Who knows? I know I don't have it figured out. Chris will probably know she doesn't have it figured out. Mm-mm. We're just trying. We're yeah, just I think, that's, that's one thing I think everybody's trying to figure it out. Yeah. 
the older you get, you realize what you don't know. And it's like, you'll, I'm like, man, I have to keep learning lessons. Like it just, the lessons keep coming. But speaking of lessons, I also had a conversation with a guy that this is a funny story. Well, it's not funny. He was friends with one of the women that was uh, held captive by R. Kelly. Okay. She called him, this is years ago, like maybe six years ago, called him and said, hey, R. Kelly is holding me hostage. He's taken my phone, called from a random number. Can you send like $500 Western Union? He won't let us eat. He won't let us leave. And he thought that she was lying. And She was. Did not... <laughs> And did not give her the money. I'll let you finish. I'll let you so finish. years later, it comes out, and he feels really bad. Does he? Why does he feel bad? Because she was not lying. Okay, so let me ask you a question. That people How, were okay. being held without their against was it, their will. Was it so? Okay, <laughs> R, R. Kelly took her phone, right? R. Kelly took her phone. He didn't let her talk. What well, was she say? He didn't let her do. He didn't let her, didn't let her breathe. Wouldn't that, <laughs> use the bathroom? I didn't say breathe. But she peed on herself. Don't do that. Tell me what happened. I didn't say breathe. Okay. Okay. So how the fuck is Western you gonna get some money to her? Well, she, uh, duh, she left. She was able to get out. She called from a random number and she was trying to go to like the gas station and get a Western Union uh, when you transmit money via Western Union. Okay, so she was in the gas station right now. No, she was on someone's phone. He didn't know exactly, but she had managed to get away, but she didn't have her phone. Did she, she end up going back? She ended up, I think, going back. Come on, man. You get out of you get out of captivity. Or she might not have. I don't know how, I, I don't Kevin. know if she went back or not. What I do know is he didn't help her and he felt bad about it. And he thought that she, he said it just sounded like such a crazy story, like you're saying now. It sounds like a crazy story. You didn't see R. Kelly cry on TV. I saw R. Kelly he cried. not just cry. He got up and screamed. He, I mean, that shit was like an episode of Trapped in the Closet. It was, <laughs> it was like that Tyrese thing. Right? What else do you want from me? me? <laughs> it was the same to me. I saw that as the exact same thing. Yeah. Oh my god, he cried. You don't believe it? I don't believe what his tears. Kelly, his, that was, that he was, cried. He had no tears. It was far better than I than Jesse that, Smollett. Uh, it 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 was better than Jesse Smollett. But I think I think R. Kelly really is sad. I think that he is. Um, I think that he's been able to get away with what he's been doing for a long time, and he feels like he's right, and he's probably like. Irritated. That well, he's got he's tons to of supporters. His, yeah, who he's he's out on bail. I mean, again, again, yet again, again. The yet child again. support has been paid. Yet so again. how how so? Come, it's not like they didn't know where R. Kelly was. Why did the child support thing just come up? I don't know. I don't. don't and I'm not, don't a, sound I'm not fishy. a fan of his of his. Um, well, he was his, only it was twenty thousand dollars a month. So he was only like eight months behind. Yeah, it wasn't very many months. One hundred sixty-one thousand was his bail, right? No, that was the amount of money he was supposed to right. pay for child support. was the child support. <laughs> yeah. 100 was the bail. <laughs> I'm sorry. Mark, this is funny. This is so ridiculous. He, he, this yeah. is all so ridiculous. Women, women that love him basically came up with a quarter million dollars As for him to be free. As they always do. I mean, and there, there is... There and is you know how many women have bailed niggas out of jail? This is the type of shit that they heard about. This is well, so I ridiculous. Know. I don't know about that. Hey. But, I think, but I think that if you look at the women that he's dealing with... Those two girls, twenty one years old. I mean, twenty one, twenty three, daughter, girlfriends, and I'm, I'm and I have a young daughter, and I think my daughter is smart. However, what I do know is that my daughter, if she was in love with a fifty two year old man, right, would not be able to uh, mentally. He could mentally trip her up, right? I do know that. Like, she's smart. I raised her really well, right. but she does not have the mental wits to go back and forth with a 52-year-old, especially you, a famous one. Let me ask you a question. Okay. So you're talking about the two women who were on the interview with Gail. Yes, yes. Did they look unhappy? No. What does it matter then? Uh, we're all just trying to be happy, right? And at 21 and 23, they are of age. I do, I do. I don't have a problem. We're I, all I, just trying to be happy, right? Don't no, don't, that, jump away from my, yeah. don't, don't jump away from my point. Mm -hmm. We're all just trying to be happy, right? Right. Do those young ladies look happy? No, they looked angry. They looked like they were they, angry at Gail they, and at well, the, the public. Their parents. I and their think parents. they're angry because much like kids get angry when your parents like you can't have any vegetables without. I mean, any cookies without eating vegetables. Right. The kids get angry. So to me, that is not how a a, a mature person acts when they're in love. It's that that seemed very. Who acts mature in love? Nobody. Come on. Well, well no, at, that's not true. Especially at twenty one. At twenty one, no. Who with a 52, when, like, my, not my, 21 with 23-year-old, but 21 with a 52-year-old, you are trying to prove and, that you can support And let's be for real. Is this him? the first time that we, like, nor, this time, it's R. Kelly, and R. Kelly is a celebrity, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. But there's been a 52-year-old accountant who's got <laughs> some money to spend, right? Mm -hmm. He's divorced. That, that guy, old, balding, Corvette, hot young chick in the... 
passenger seat. I mean, that's that's the age. We've old seen thing. this before. Yeah, we've seen. It I'm before. asking what the problem is. If they're happy, if they're happy, why do we give a fuck? Why I think are we with those two punish? Girls, punish? Why? Right, do, no, no. I'm not. I don't think the problem is about punishing. I don't have a problem with him and the 21 year old and the 23 year old. I think that's sad. For who? As a mother, I, w- I would pr- I would not be talking to the news. I would be trying to go mother, and, and hurt Mark. Okay, R. this R. don't have nothing to do with like, them girls, but those saying, girls' but, mothers. But that's not why he's on trial because right. of a 21 and 23 year old. We right. have to make sure we, we, we say that. Right. They're just who he's currently with right. that we know about. Right. Right. The 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 cases are the that have been brought back up against him are because of him being with 14 and 15 year olds. Right. That's the problem. Not the now these girls, whether or not to me at that point, would as a parent. They should not be talking to the news about this situation because right. it's unfortunate, but the daughter is of age legally. So I am saying right now, if that was my, my situation with my daughter and my daughter's a little bit older than them, I would just have hire someone to go kill him or something. I'm not going to talk to the... All I'm saying, I'm is, all I'm, all I'm saying is that they're, they are trying, by using these two young ladies, they're trying to paint this picture. I don't think they're using these two young ladies. No, they are. It. It's for the public opinion part of it. He was trying to... And see, what, so. what R. Kelly was trying to say was, yeah, I did some things in my past mm-hmm. that y'all know about. And it's hard for him to talk about. Right. <laughs> it's hard for him to talk. Way, way. You in know the what? Past. First he of said, all, way, he way. said my way, he way, way past. He said my way, 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 way past. past. My way, way past. Which, which confirms for me that <laughs> he he's that actually shit. a better singer than he is a talker. A better right. writer, a songwriter. Yeah. Clearly. How is that possible? Because he has time to edit. Hey, how is he? No, no pe- he doesn't write. People, because you see that the lawyer. It's the way t- that brain works. I think it's like a form of dyslexia. It I must swear to God. He does have dyslexia. It is savant. He is a dyslexia. He's a savant. But I'm just saying, like, he is able. They said that he doesn't, re- he cannot read or write, right? And right. I did hear I testimony. Know. No, like, I heard testimony that he was at the radio station. He cannot do drops. He does not read. And there are other celebrities that don't as well. We can't make fun. Reading is not always uh, fun. But when they say that, though, I think that they don't, what they actually mean is they don't read well. I think people, he, he, he can read, but he can't, he wouldn't be able to put he together, said, like, so many complex. He never been in the bank. He said that. Okay. He said that? He said that. He had okay. not been in a bank. He said that it was his fault that he is he he has money problems because he didn't, he has not uh handled his own affairs. He had never been in a bank until recently. That's yeah. what he said. Well, I mean, it was it was it was jibber jabber what he was saying. Like some of the things, the words, the mm-hmm. the sentence structure, he <laughs> One was of putting the words that are coming out of your mouth. He was putting it together all wrong in a lot of places. He, I can see the frustration so cons- dripping I was so from him. Confused on why he wanted to go on there with Gail. And Gail showed not one iota of concern for his confusion. Right. But I don't think that um that's another thing though. And I, I I when you when you lack certain skills, you compensate in other areas, right? So if a man, I think we all can probably agree R. Kelly is not a rocket scientist. He's not an intellectual not. genius, right? Probably not. So mm-hmm. when you don't have that that intelligence on your side, you tend to you tend to overcompensate for areas that you do have you know, control of, right. which is he's obviously very charismatic with women <laughs> and men. I mean, men love R. Kelly too because of his of his music. So it makes sense to me that he would be controlling because he does have a lot of weaknesses. My wife, before she became a professional, mm-hmm. was working in a restaurant okay. as a server. Mm-hmm. R. Kelly and a party came in. Mm-hmm. She went to one of the guys at the table. Mm-hmm. R. Kelly was on the other side. She started down his, this guy like, nah, not to take his order. And they were dead ass serious. Mm-hmm. Not even a drink order. Yeah. Nothing. He goes first. Yeah. That's Nothing. That's normal. That's and normal And they were looking down. Celebrities. Like, no, he goes first. So he, he controls everybody. <laughs> I, I think that's normal what? for a celebrity, though. For a, and especially a celebrity that is very insecure. Wow. I've, I a lot of celebrities not, are insecure. You I mean, a lot never of people know. are insecure. So yeah. I think everybody's insecure. But how about let's just, let's just take it? Let's be real. Right. No, everybody's everybody insecure. Has insecurity, but I think when you have right. huge, when you're in the public eye, your flaws are that much more. You know, uh, focused on people are focusing on them a lot more. We could gain five or ten pounds. Nobody's going to see it, but besides the people around us, if Entertainment Tonight and TMZ are like, "Oh my God, look, Beyonce has gained. He's he now has a dad bod." Like <laughs> right. that's like, "Whoa, dude!" Like, right. so I mean, it's everything. <laughs> Any little thing that you are self conscious about, if you're famous, that is brought to the light. You know. Crystal has issues. Where is Crystal's father? Like, I don't need everybody to know. Whoa, whoa. You know what I mean? We found Crystal's dad. Yeah. He's like, what? Whoa. We weren't weren't looking for Crystal's dad. I certainly wasn't. I wasn't looking for my dad. He sat down with us for a one on one exclusive. (laughs) So, I mean, Crystal ain't never been shit. (laughs) Like, what? I mean, not that I'm a, a supporter of Trump, but Trump's test scores, his grades, his college. 
grades are out. I'm sure a lot of people would not want their transcript. <laughs> not the first well, time. Well, they had to know that was coming. The second time was much better. The first time, But ooh. I'm just saying, like, that's not fair. That's not, it is not fair. So th- that, of course, would bring out insecurities if right. you're going to do that. So I think that it makes sense that he is very controlling. I also think it makes sense that he is dating younger women because he's able to control them. If he's dating a, a woman that's his age, sit your non-reading ass. You can't even or, read the hell. You know what I mean? It's, it just, it, I don't know. If you're 52... You might just want anything. No, he he's he's wanted younger women since he was young. Okay. But who doesn't like well, nah, I ain't gonna Uh-oh. say it. No, no go. nigga, say it, say nigga. That. Let that Here shit out. No, Let it no, out, no, nigga. No. Who ain't want a go. young what? Um <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't like beautiful women? Oh, beautiful, beautiful what? women. Because old women are beautiful. That's what R. Kelly said. He she said, Are you an old man that likes young women? Mm-hmm. I'm an old man that loves he love women. all women. <laughs> that's but that's his fan base. That's his audience. They you are sound his just supporters. Like him or what you just said. You no, I almost R. did. I almost no, stepped almost in it. I didn't step in it, man. You said it. Everybody uh, heard the nuance. You did it. We and, hear and the wait, nuance. wait, but okay, so is the age gap a bad thing? No. Well, is, is, the which, mad, is, the age, is, is the older man Younger woman Is that what we're mad at it Works like, for me What exactly are we mad that at That works for me Is it Like I didn't like I I, I did What I was mad about <laughs> What After I watched The, the R. Kelly documentary right What I was mad about And what I learned Was that he was Holding women against their will I don't believe it And making them uh, Use the bathroom In buckets I don't believe it that's that stuff. I, that's fucking ridiculous. That's and that was new information for me, and that's why I was mad. I that's why it. I muted our kids. So nobody that's cares ridiculous. about the, the young the people. Under no, 18. that's gonna be impossible to prove. That, that's gonna be impossible to prove. That, what the holding of people hostage? No, the fourteen year old thing. Because no, I think there's a video. There was a video thing. before Crystal. There was, there and was. everybody who mm-hmm. in this table says, "Yep, yeah, that was our Kelly." Guess who else said that? Everybody else in the fucking everybody world. In the world. But guess what happened? He got Ooh, off. He did. Mm-hmm. So don't. that's a very difficult thing to prove, obviously. It, obviously. He's it dumb, but he's very good at hiring simple. attorneys. <laughs> it would seem very simple, but I think that the reason that people are, that he did get away with it, and the reason that he's been able to do it for 20 years, and the reason that people know, I think, I know people that have, that know, that have told me, and I think I've shared with you guys before that he's definitely likes underage girls. I mean, that's not even a big deal. But I think the reason that he's been able to do it so long is because there's a lot of men that do. And that is not considered, it's something that we say is bad, but we really don't think it's but bad. But we well, don't we don't keep the same, if it was an older woman, if this was was Patti LaBelle. And a 14-year-old? If No, if this was Patti LaBelle and a 22-year-old man. But we're not talking about, Ke- please listen, Mr. Kevin. We're not talking about... <laughs> Please. It like, sounds dirtier now when you say Mr. Kevin because we're talking saying, about like you're, you're, you're not Mr. listening Kevin. to what I said. I said under 18. That's all we're talking about. We're not talking about May, December relationships. These, we're talking about pedophilia. Oh, That's two different oh, things. Okay, so these women aren't under 18. These are the women that he's with now. These are not the women that we're talking see, about. Are we still mad about Aaliyah? No, see, that's the problem. That, and that's, there have been other women since then that but were see, hold under on a second, 18. Hold on a second. That's the problem. That's what I was talking That's what the first thing I said. The public is getting this image of these women that are 21, 22 on TV. Right. That's what keeps running their mouth. Surviving R. Kelly, grown women. They keep running their mouth. But the they are women just, in Surviving R. Kelly were, were talking now, but saying this happened mm-hmm. to me when I was 16. They can't prove it, though. You see what I'm saying? They can so, prove it. But some of them can prove it. Well, they they're going to have to. But they, there were, they, there were the, one of them worked at the radio station. Station and she like quit her job and flew to be with him. That's stuff the like one that. I was talking about that my friend knew. But, but, what, I'm, but what I'm saying though is that it, we're being distracted with 21, 23 year olds, 25 year olds. We're being distracted. This the girl, actual the case is about a 14 went, year old. Yeah, it is. It, it, 14. But, but the, he's talking about grown people. You I don't see know how why he's talking about Because that. it's distracting, Chris. But it is distracting. They're distracting but, us. but, 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 Azriel. Was, was 21 now. Azriel. That's her name. That's when Gargamel's went, cat. It is. It is. <laughs> it, it is. is. I but don't when know she why went, someone would name their daughter that. <laughs> when she Gargamel's went to meet R. Cat. Kelly, she was 17. R. Kelly is saying That's that grown. he did not sleep with... 17 is not grown legally. A- age of consent. Yes, it is. Not in not in wherever they're from. Because Illinois? In, in Illinois, it's Are not. you sure? They they brought it up and they said, were you sleeping with Data. her? Data. Look that up. When she, <laughs> when she was 17, he says he waited until she was 18. Okay. And what's wrong with that? How, what's the illegal? Didn't she say that, gonna, didn't she not, say that her parents told that. her to lie about her age? She did. She did say that. What kind of parents are we? But anyway, I'm, I'm sorry. Seventeen. Age of age of consent in Illinois is seventeen. Wow. Age of consent in Georgia is wow. seventeen. Well, 
I mean, but that, but that, the case is 14 year old, but that, they did mention that on the TV show that she was having sex with him when she was 17. And see, the problem here is that we're being distracted by these grown women who are just mad. They got to be quiet if we're going to get justice for this 14 year old. That, that's not fair. They're, the 14 year old's not 14 anymore. No, 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 she no, no, no. I, I know. She's one of the grown women now. I know. See, that's, but that's where that's, I don't think she is. I think that the women that are, that are being paraded around were grown and they're distracting not the real them, problem. Though. I watched the 17 whole is not, is not, not grown. One of the girls, was 16 years old. They, I mean, a lot. They, there was only two 14 year olds. The rest of them were 15. That's and what 16. we need to be focusing on. That, that is true. But but then but then we don't. That person for the first time, that person did not come out. Right. Right. They don't. They didn't want their daughter paraded around. But I they could, wanted her paraded on stage. No, they didn't. No, so that's not true. Is the, the idea? One, they did not. That's not true. The girl was the first idea, one. These the girls were singers. Want her to know. They were singers. They were trying to get on. They were. Most of them were. Parents were involved in that. So. I'm not saying it's right, but come on, man. I need them to lead. All these grown women need to go sit down somewhere. If you decided as a grown up to go be a captive in R. Kelly's <laughs> concubine, as, a as one of to be a captive. as one of R. Kelly's concubine, shut up and sit down somewhere. If you are 14, you Ooh. need to stand up. Let's get to the facts there because these grown women are distracted. They're doing panels. They're doing movies. They're doing book deals. They're doing all this stuff. They're coming on TV talking about but we love they, him. But what if they? Oh, that, those are those two. That's They'll have those their two. time, right? Yeah. Like if we're gonna be able to, if we're gonna be able to hold R. Kelly. Uh, well, we accountable are, we're not. for his wrongs. I can't do it with the grown women. Right, sit down somewhere. I can't do. I can't build a case on the grown if women. If you were seventeen when you got there, go sit down somewhere. I know it sucked. I know you had to pee on yourself. I get it. But go sit down. Oh, we man. need to talk about these fourteen-year-olds mm-hmm. because that's the only way we're ever going to get to the real justice of this. Then well, the later, four, well, I guess you'd have. They would have to have gone right when they were fourteen because they. But life happens and people grow older and they get. They get no, of no, age. No, no, no. If, Nobody go, and I'll, I'll say this. You can be 24 now if you were 14 when it happened. That's, I mean, in the documentary, there are women that- I don't believe that. Most of those women don't seem like they're the, those girls. They, that's uh, not what they I'm, said. That, that is what they said. Oh. In the documentary, one of the girls said I was 15. She showed pictures when she was in high school, and she went to the arts. She did. I mean, I- She was living there? See, that's no, what I'm no, talking no. about. No, no, no. She wasn't living there. She was sleeping with R. Kelly. She went she to said be she in- was, She said she was sleeping with R. She Kelly. She said, yeah. And other corroborating evidence. The only people evidence. that are saying that they not are these two girls. Everybody in the documentary was saying R. Kelly was an animal. Right. These two women are saying he's not. He's un- amazing. This girl said she <laughs> was in high school. She went to a video set. He told her to come to a video set to be in a video. And he told her- <laughs> She got to the video. He told her to go wait on his tour bus. And then he came in there and they had sex. And then they started a sex. I mean, they had sex throughout the video. He would come back in. And she was in high school. She's, I mean, she's just older now. Yeah. But I would, I, I, as a mother of a daughter, do- I would not, if my daughter had slept with R. Kelly when she was 14, I would not put her on television to talk about that. That's not something I would want her to deal with. I don't, if my daughter had been, had issues with any men, when she was younger, I would not want that to be a part of her public history. That's difficult right. to get over. Right. I know a girl whose mother took her to a video set to have sex with several rappers. That is not something that she should have to go and talk about because long after the publicity has died, that girl has to walk around and people look at you and judge you. And it's already difficult enough being judged as a woman. That is just not something you want to carry around with you. Right. So I wouldn't have my daughter to talk, testify. I'm sure that somewhere in R. Kelly's women over the last 20 years, there are some women that are just like, I don't want my daughter to deal with that. Right. You know what I mean? Because that's not, that, that's what I'm saying. We're all, this is really like the people who should be the most upset about this are the parents and the girls. Yes, I I don't want to support anybody that Kelly. does that. R- well, R. Kelly's not if upset you because your, he wants to do it. If you brought your funky-ass daughter to R. Kelly at age 14, That's a problem. R. Kelly should be mad, too. I agree. What the hell is wrong with you, a parent? I agree. Parent? As a parent, right. That's the well, same thing with the Michael Jackson story. And, and, and that, well, that's... That was what uh, I, I guess the daughters are saying that were, or, and I think even R. Kelly kind of alluded to it that basically the parents sold their daughters to him and now that checks stopped showing up, he would not. He should not have said now, that. Now, <laughs> now I'm outraged. Have said R. Kelly that said that he did, and that that would suggest that he received money for yeah. sleeping with young girls. That was really stupid of him to say, but he did. Which that that does sound like it sounds like a sex ring now. It sounds like now, a now that you paid is, for young is, girls is influence a crime. I believe it is. 
Well, that's, if, that's if, what Har- if, if, if it's hard to prove. No, it's no, hard but to here's the look though. Harvey Weinstein, Steen, Stein, 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 Stein Harvey Weinstein. is going to go to jail for influence because mm. that's really what this was about. He made people sleep with him because of his influence. But he also supposedly mm. raped. I, I think the rape is hard to prove years later. They don't, you can't yeah. get a rape kick. But there, was some, there were people that said he raped them as well. But is an influence part of it as well because of it his is. position, right? It is. So mm-hmm. because of this parent's position, I think they should be up on charges as well because their influence was... You know, you trying to make it, girl? Mm-hmm. Go over here and do this, man. If you want you to do something strange for some change, but you know, you know, what I think, I, th- I think I was talking. I had a conversation about this on the on um the earlier today. I think because somebody was saying, you know, those parents should be brought up on charges. The parents are wrong. I think the parents are wrong. I think the parents that took their young boys to Michael Jackson's house to let them hang out with Michael Jackson alone for a week didn't alone. happen. I don't believe that happened anymore. I'm done with that shit. I, well, I, I think, I think even shit. if even if that molestation didn't happen, it is irresponsible as a parent to take your child and let another adult have them for an extended period of time. Let me, let me finish what I'm saying. Yeah. But I also think that parents give their children what they consider as the best, right? If you, if, wait a minute, right, no, a lot of people you. consider fame the best. So this girl that I talked to that was 18 years old, her mother took her to a video set where a very popular producer and rapper were, and her mother encouraged her to sleep with him. I don't think that her mother was trying to be irresponsible. I think her mother felt like, in shot. her head, the best thing that you can do is sleep with a man who has money and that is how you get ahead. That is what a lot of women think and that's how they train their daughters. If that's what's worked for them, usually people's children follow in the footsteps that they've seen laid before them. My daughter, I think the best thing for her to do is to be able to be an independent woman, to make money on her own, and then if she finds love, great. But guess what? If love doesn't come, you have a skill set to do. But I, I've never taught my daughter to take money from men, but that's also not how I think. Right. But I run into a lot of women who feel like the best thing that you can do is give your daughter some game so that she can get some money out of a guy's pockets. And they think they're being a good parent by teaching that. I think those parents are they being who took, bad parents. I don't think they are. I think they're being they're doing the best that they have. That is right. what they do. So those parents that took their daughters to R. Kelly, a lot of women have gone to R. Kelly and tried to sleep with him. He just didn't want to. Yeah. So I think that people yeah, are 22. doing yeah. what the, yeah, like yeah. They, they said he does that. Like I don't no right. no. So I think that people that have they put their children Black China's mom, same as she is. She 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 is a person that twerks and. Feels like getting ahead is from having sex with men. That's what she taught her daughter to do. So we have to realize that everybody, every parent, even though that may seem irresponsible to us, is trying to put their child in the best situation. If you're broke and you're in a situation where you don't think that you think the only way out is to get next to something that's, that that is that it has money and fame, and you think that is the 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 uh, the epitome of success, it makes sense that you would take your child there. It's sad, but it does make sense. The, there's definitely and there's definitely uh, a culture of women who do that and and there's books to support it are you are you familiar with this did I, I send you this before this book is called how to destroy a man now and, I, and I mean, that's it's, not what I'm it's, talking it's about, a though. women's hand it's a handbook for women that teaches them basically the art of seduction and then how to use that to extract funds from their victims well, destroy doesn't sound like extracting funds. That sounds like something else. But I do think that, I, just like I think there are men that teach their sons game on how to get the pussy, there are women that teach their daughters how to. But we don't think that's wrong. That's, Here's that's the crazy cool. part. Here's, but it's not cool when a daughter does, when a daughter gets the money. But they're guys that are pushing their sons mm, to go after. You know, I see how you compare the two. I just don't know that those two apples are like. Here's the crazy part. Okay. You tell your daughter to go have sex at this video shoot. And she becomes a millionaire based off of the relationship she's she's garnered. They like Black China. She's that, become- you live a better life than most people. So, who's to say what's right and what's wrong? Yeah. From the old uh, Asian proverb. Fair. I just don't. I, I, don't, <laughs> I, I think everybody everybody Fair. has to go after what they think is good to them. Just because men it's, think okay, pussy so, is good doesn't on. mean that women shouldn't think that money is good. I know it didn't it didn't fare well for these young ladies. But if your daughter were fourteen, and ended up in the hands of a man that made her a millionaire. She's only three years early. <laughs> Shut up. I'm just saying, though. If I mean, she, it depends on what If she want. lives a much better life than you, right. save for the 14-year-old uh, sexual encounter she had, who's to say what's good and what's bad? And, and you know what? Because I think... Oh my God! That even ends up in <laughs> the Holy Ghost or something, wasn't it? Yeah, it just kind of because there's 
there's a similar thing with women who've gone to college and have professional careers and so on and so forth, and a woman who strips and made a bunch of money just like that overnight, made right. your whole salary this Super Bowl weekend. Right. Who's to say what's good and what's bad? It depends on the person. And I, I just think that we have to understand everybody has different definitions of success. And it's not our job to impose our definition on the world. No, I do. I think, but I mean, I I have a right to think this, that I I think that if you are, children are not, do not have the same mental capacity as an adult. So if you are putting your child in a situation that they are not mentally capable to handle, I think that's irresponsible. Well, we've agreed that's criminal. I think as a culture, we've agreed that that's criminal. So, yeah, but that's called, isn't that called raising a child? What? No. Like preparing them for the work because when they leave the nest, when they leave the nest, you you not you before. should have the ideal is that you should have prepared them for whatever they may encounter. But not at fourteen though. They're not leaving that at fourteen. Maybe not at four. At fourteen, they're not finished. That's what I'm saying. That's the whole point. That's my whole point. I, I, at twenty one, they should be prepared. But or you hear least, stories. But not really, you hear like stories that. of thirteen year olds who, who left home when they were young and have you know a lot of them end up on a sex trafficking because not they're not them, smart though. enough to. But not to, all of them. Some, some people, of them were emancipated and survived and become successful adults. Who's to say what's good and what's it's, bad? It's a lot rougher though. Who's to say what's good and what's bad? Yeah, I agree. It's just you know, hey. As long as my child's not doing it. <laughs> like, who's to say? What if your daughter... Who's no, to say? Don't, who's don't to say do that. <laughs> my daughter is, is good. I'm glad I only have one. We all want to keep her daughter off the pole, but then again... I mean, I don't want my daughter to be homeless and broken up in a hole somewhere when they find her and pull her out either, though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I had a choice of my daughter following her independent dreams of being a, a successful, keep her chin up woman and being found in a, in a hole woman. broke somewhere one day, or her giving some pussy away to a millionaire and becoming a, a, a co millionaire like Jeff Bezos's wife when they divorce you know what I'm saying she's a billionaire excuse Billion, me yeah. she's gonna be a billionaire from divorce yeah but so, that's not what's happening no here, I understand though. I understand <laughs> those girls are leaving without money yeah totally I understand but what I'm saying is if I if I had a choice right like if I could see both paths and one of them I ah, was a little fucked up in the beginning but their end result is right. far better and hers is, is, is good while she's climbing yeah. but then something happens and she ends up in a hole I'm picking that it's called sacrifice well, you I think you something. just I think as a parent you just do the best that you can. Yeah. And so what you what you've seen before is what you know can work. So these mothers I done seen a woman get some money off of dealing with this dude. Right. So I know this can work. And I, <sighs> you know, I don't agree with it, but I do understand how they got there because I think that's one thing that most parents have in common is they want success for their child. Huh? In scene. <laughs> in scene. Make sure right. Yeah, that's it, right? Yeah, that's, that's it. That's, that's a, put a period on it. Yeah. yeah. All righty then. Um, yeah. Uh, like, share, subscribe, share your thoughts. Uh, it's a very passionate topic, so we hope that people will share their their um, their comments or or slander for any of our opinions. We welcome all of it. Music Club Life.